Hi everyone, this is Ron from Neon and in this video I'm going to show you how to use our Neon page tool to create your own micro landing page. Micro landing pages like the Neon page are very useful for you to use on Instagram bios or any other places. They're a great tool to create a collection of links that is clean and clear. As an example, here is the neon page that we have on our Instagram bio. As you can see, it's very clean. You can add a photo, a title, and a description for each link that you have there. So, how to create one? If you have a custom domain, you can add it here. If you don't have one, just ignore this field. If you want to learn how to add a custom domain, we'll link a different video in the description. Next up, you have to give your page a title, and then hit the arrow to continue. You'll land directly on the data tab, which displays your click data. But more about this later. To modify your page, you click on the edit tab. You can always duplicate or delete your page with the buttons upright. When clicking the edit tab, you can see that you have various options here. So, with the customize link button, you can change the slug, so what comes after the slash in neon page, or your custom domain. You can choose a theme that fits your style and uh, if you have any ideas for additional themes just let us know on Twitter, okay? But none of this is definitive, you can always change your mind and use a custom domain for the link. After this, so you can add a title image to your page and by clicking on this button you can modify the title of your page, you can add a description and a URL below the title. You can add social media links with this button. To add new links to your page, just click on add new links. To add a link, you need to obviously add a link. So you can paste the URL into the field number. Uh, you can use a trackable neon lead that you've created beforehand, or you can use a neon page that you've created beforehand. As you can see on our neon page, links are displayed in cards and each card contains a title and a short description. In regards to the image, there's two ways to add one to the card. So you can either upload an image or choose to simply use the image the link provides. Once you added some links, you might want to modify them. You can change the order of the links by simply drag and drop them. You can still edit the title, description and image and link of each card as well. You can also duplicate or delete each link. And very important here, you can highlight the link. So this means that the link will be displayed in a bigger card than normal ones do. Give it a try just to see how your links will look like. Once you've shared your page and people visit your page, data will start to appear below the added options in the page. Remember to refresh the page to update the data as it doesn't update in real time. For each visitor, you will see the following. The referrer, so the websites or apps where people clicked on your link, the browser, pretty self-explanatory, the platform, did they use mobile or desktop, the location and the browser language. If you scroll down until the end, there is a list of visitors that you can download as a CSV. Thank you so much for watching, we hope this was helpful and if you have any questions, just drop them in the comments below.